Shalom everyone, Marcus De Costa here and I have a question which I think may be helpful for you to ask yourself and for you to ask others you are in communication with and the question is who in the Bible can you model your faith on? Now it might sound like a, a simple question and maybe to some it may seem even obvious but believe it or not there are many who can't answer it. Who is it that if you was to look in the Bible, you could point to and say, he is my witness that the way I'm living, what I'm doing is interpreted correctly. Most people will fall into the trap, especially if they are Christian, of pointing to Paul. They will say, well, look what Paul wrote in such and such a place. But that wasn't the question. The question was, who can you point to who lived like you? The answer is, for many, there isn't anyone. Because if you look to Yeshua, well, Yeshua was a Hebrew. He was an Israelite. He was a Jew. He was circumcised on the eighth day. He was raised in a biblical household in terms of his his uh, mother and Joseph, his supposed father, would take him to the feast. He, he observed the Sabbath because we know that in the Bible, the people in Nazareth, when he went into the, to the synagogue, they knew him and it was his custom to, to follow that law. So we can't look to, so, so many, I'm not gonna say we, many can't look to Yeshua and they can't look to his disciples why because his disciples if we go through the book of Acts after Yeshua ascended they continued in much of the faith that was delivered unto the patriarchs the faith that the patriarchs had hoped to see with the exception that Yeshua is the son of Abraham, is the son of David, the Messiah, and therefore King. Now, if you follow that line of reasoning, the people will, will not have an answer. They can't answer the question because their faith is not represented in the Bible. So they have to come with um, doctrine to try and validate that their belief system is not biblically based but uses the Bible and therefore the conclusion of the matter is their belief, their faith is not based on the Bible their religion cannot be found in the Bible as a result my conclusion is that Christianity, which is where the overwhelming majority of people who use the Bible but don't live in accordance to the people of the Bible, that that religion, in the main, is not a Bible-based religion. It's not founded on the Word. It uses the Word. It manipulates the Word. It presupposes their own ideals and pagan customs into the word, but it's not a biblically based religion. It doesn't follow the, the one or live like as we are commanded to in 1 John chapter 2, 
So if we know him, we'll keep his commandments and we will also walk as he walked. If you don't walk as he walked, then it's clear you don't know him. And that pretty much is the religion of Christianity. So when you encounter people, it may be a good question to just help them see that if you can't point to a disciple in Yeshua who lived as what the edicts of the faith is today, if you can't point to the Messiah or the prophets who live as that religion today, then where are you getting your faith from? Where are you getting your, your religion from? Shalom.